You want to want to make pictures that really sing and say something about your subject and have have uh, not just uh, strong visual content but uh, emotion. When I first got the idea to do the Marco Polo route, I wanted to do it for the sheer adventure of it. I proposed a story on Marco Polo after I read a book or read a review of a book called Did Marco Polo Go to China? And I thought, who is this person questioning this ubiquitous name, Marco Polo, which I see everywhere. I've stayed in the Marco Polo Hotel and, you know, there's Marco Polo cruise ships, no to mention shops and everything connected with travel in Asia seems to have a Marco Polo in it. I became intrigued by this as a possible story idea and I pitched it to National Geographic, my magazine, and they agreed. It hadn't been done in, since 1926, so I thought, let's prove once and for all, did Marco Polo go to China or did he record, uh, interview uh, travelers as they pass through Istanbul and, and write a, a, his book that way. Uh, I started out with a skeptical mind and as I used Marco Polo's book like a guidebook, I listed everything that he wrote about and approximately where he saw these things and, and made descriptions of and ended up uh, doing the route, which happened to go through places like Iraq, Iran, Afghanistan, which just by some photographer's luck happened to be open to me in the year um, in 99, 2000, 2001, before 9-11. Going to a place like Afghanistan, well, I have no expectation because I, you know, there's been very little photographs out of there other than you know, combat photos. And so then I'm seeing things and realizing that I am seeing a country that is indeed somewhere in the 13th century. They have no electricity, no running water, no cars, no telephones. Maybe now they do, but when I was there, it was like Middle Ages. Well, I, I'm a storyteller, and, and I love uh, actually showing these photographs to my Chinese, to a Chinese audience, because they would appreciate them the most, and uh, would be my hardest critics if I'm off base. Uh, so I want to show them to the people, you know, for for the rest of the world, it's a curiosity. But for China, they're they live these scenes every day. Well fast disappearing, but they will relate to this history and uh, it's meaningful to them, whereas the rest of the world, old war is, you know, is a curiosity, whereas uh, to the Asian audiences, I'm mainly showing these photographs to, it has much more meaning and impact. Well, the, the best thing about geographic for photographers is they give you the means and the time to do definitive work. And in this day and age, that's hard to find a client that's willing to uh, invest in you so that you can bring back the, the best uh, pictures, in, in, in this case, of, of whatever the subject is. And, and they're very tough editors, and so we are working on not just highest level competing uh, with other photographers who are also uh, the best at their game, but also just uh, you're, you're mainly working to please yourself.